YouTube. It is uh, five o'clock in the morning on the morning of July 17th. Um, we're out here on the property again, um, getting ready to do some more work on the earth bag structure. I'm waiting for the girls to get up right now. Um, got some breakfast going on. Yep. Same thing, oatmeal and coffee. But I brought the good maker this morning. We're not doing instant. I got my black rifle. If you don't know these guys, you should. They're pretty good. My personal favorite is the Just Black. The secondary is the Silencer Smooth. But I prefer Just Black. So. Got my coffee going this morning. Oh, that's delicious. If uh, if you've never tried it, if you've seen it and not tried it, I recommend trying it. It's delicious. Very good coffee. Um, anyways, not trying to plug anybody. Uh, if you're watching, excellent coffee. You guys rock. Your commercials are hilarious. Uh, yeah, so, or short films or whatever they are. But good stuff. So... Um, yeah, the sunrise is really good this morning. I'm digging it out here. Nice clean air. We had a storm roll through last night. It was pretty, pretty intense. Found out where all the leaks are in the RV. <laughs> yeah. Needed a couple of buckets, but we got it handled. So, anyways, um, I'm going to get some coffee and some uh, breakfast. And whenever the, the girls get up, we're going to get this thing going on. So, stick around. Thanks. Where's the ledges at? It's the Jaeger's ledges. Jaegermeister ledges for the soap and the shampoo inside the shower. And see where what we got right now. It'll come to right as the duct tape ends, so the mm -hmm. nib will end up just disintegrating. Gotcha. So here, let's see what we got right there. We got that much going on here. We got 
and all the way around. Is that pretty high? Pretty high. It's probably about what, four feet right there. How short do you think I am? <laughs> you want me to put a tape measure on it? It's probably four feet. <laughs> Yes, I'm little. <laughs> All right, so the way that we're doing this is we're putting... Clearly no pattern. Yeah, there's no pattern to it. We're just putting a concrete it. mix that we made with the sand and the straw. And we're putting cans in between and then bottles you can see that so you got bottles cans bottles cans all the way through and we're just stacking it up as we're going through here it doesn't work on the pad yeah might need a little more concrete on that I'm working on it. Ow. Oh, you watch your head better. Stupid thing. I know, I need to move that up. It's kind of right in the way. I think I'll do that next. So. Anyways, bottle wall. So we could have framed this wall right here, but with lumber being so expensive right now. Ungodly expensive. Ungodly expensive. It is less expensive, however, more uh, labor intensive to do it this way. So, yeah, but, but. These are 26 cents. Yeah, the bags are 26 cents each. So, I mean, add it up, you know. But we can do probably this whole wall for the price we pay for one two by six, ten foot long, maybe two. I think you can get two for about twenty six bucks. That's a thousand bags, right? I bought a thousand bags for three hundred. Yeah. Almost. So a hundred bags would be twenty six bucks. So it's not gonna be a hundred bags. Right. That won't be a hundred bags to get that wall up. Well, it might be. Still, less. But fact of the matter is, there's we have the bags. Wall, there's... Yeah, we have the bags on site, so 
we're doing it this way. So, anyways, I'm gonna start rolling out. Uh, Is this gonna be a pony wall? Well, we can make it a pony wall. You know, where it only goes up like six feet? Yeah, and then we can frame the top. Right. We could do it that way too. You know, cut not, the lumber in half. It's not necessary for uh, stability, or is it? No, not really. I mean, I was going to run the, the... Yeah, you're right. It's fine. Yeah. We'll just attach it to the roof. Right. It's that much more strength. Yep, I was going to run the ridge right down that. So, that's good. Anyways, so, yeah, we're going to run the ridge across the top of it. We'll probably do a pony wall about five feet high and then frame out the top two or three feet, however many's left. Maybe. To get to the uh, beam going through the middle, and then we'll just span the uh, bedroom and the living room, and then build everything off of that. So we'll have a short side in the front, and then a long side in the back, which makes it nice because that way we can play this out here and make it, you know, nice and round. It'll so we'll also be a, nice for uh, water harvest. Yes, and then we can use that for water harvest, so that we can we're going to put one of these IBC totes on the back and run gutter to it so that we're collecting all the water off of the roof and then uh, we'll hook up the water system in the back so we can get water from the shower from the water collection. So that's the idea. So all right, I'm gonna run barbed wire. Ugh. right here you can see right there that's the inner wall of the bathroom area where the hallway comes through and we'll bring that up like we talked about so we're to ground level now we're gonna take a break and get something to eat and then we'll uh, come back and see how much we can get done before dark so keep watching Thank you. 
um, we've got lightning strikes coming down all around us out here and uh, it's kind of raining it's not bad it's just a little bit of a sprinkle but um, we've made the decision to uh, get ourselves indoors and we're probably gonna call it I think we're kind of tired of being out here and being sweaty and dirty and gross right now so I think we're gonna call it for the weekend and get us back in town get a shower and get cleaned up so um, this is where we left it at right now um, this is um, yeah we've already seen all of that that's the slider box and all of that so we added all of this today here and we've got this this is the the um, bottle wall for the shower and that right there is the box that we did for the cooling tube we're going to put a cooling tube over here in the wall and uh, run it down under the ground back for a ways so that we can get some cool air in here when it starts to heat up during the summertime uh, so but that's where we're at right now so we're going to call it for tonight and uh, yeah we'll be back out uh, we have some things going on next weekend so it's probably going to be a week before we get back out here to this but I'll post some other stuff I have to still clean up the backyard and fix that mess so I'll get that cleaned up and posted in its place and then we'll just continue after that and also that'll give us some time to get some materials together and get everything else that we need to do the rest of this this build so and also we're also doing the paperwork for the um, the actual build permit and hopefully um, I'm gonna be getting together all the materials to do the septic so hopefully we can get the septic done pretty quick and then I want to have all of the paperwork for the build permit in so that when we get the septic done the that paper goes straight in and then we just are able to do it and then we can just start the main build so that's the idea that's what we're trying to do so I'm gonna close it out right now and uh, yeah we'll be back so keep watching thanks